and once more here is an incredible sight this is the temple of Karnak and here we have the sphinxes lined up as this alley leads into the temple complex Karnak comes from the Arabic word for uh, niche or let's say uh, shoots that are over there and there are a lot of them in this temple complex you can see the holes on the top they call them niches and uh, that's what the name comes from from uh, this Karnak complex it is absolutely again a stunning feat of Egyptian history right here Karnak is probably must be one of the highlights of Egypt I didn't know it would be this big because I saw on the map that it's pretty small but actually I saw I saw a map of the actual surface and it is huge and there's some huge pillars over there, columns that I want to see. The Karnak temple complex includes a number of temples, chapels and other buildings. It's dedicated to worship of the divine triad Amun Re, his wife Mut and their son Khonsu. I don't even know what to say. Sphinx is on the right. Wow. 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 These pillars this is the biggest thing I've ever seen. Look at this all lined up. The Great Hippostale Hole. <laughs> this is the largest Hippostale Hole in the world. It has no equal anywhere. Consisting of 134 columns, presenting the papyrus flower. This hole was built by King Sati I, 313 till 1292 BC, and was completed by his son as by his sons Ramesses II, the new kingdom. Isn't this the most beautiful way to spend a Friday afternoon? Roman fruit, ancient Egypt. Just what is otherwise a normal April month with nothing remarkable going on. But I'm right here in the middle of it all, in the middle of history. And just unfathomable the way this was ever built, these columns. I just, uh, I'm overwhelmed by all of this beauty, really. Some like.
place is virtually deserted. Just look at it. The whole courtyard, nobody here. These are probably hieroglyphs as well, but in a more written script. Just like I haven't touched anything, I'm not going to, but just the fact that you can touch these things, these just too much to, to believe almost that you can just walk here and just imagine who made it, who made these things can't imagine how they looked, what clothes they were wearing, what sandals, look, it just goes on and on, it's everywhere, it just doesn't stop. Really, it's beyond belief, the stones must weigh thousands of kilos, hundreds of thousands, to to make such an obelisk and make and make it stand right, I, don't know, I just can't uh, wrap my mind around this place and that I'm walking here alone. I just can't. Probably the shock will come later. The actual, or not shock, but the how do I call it? The realization. It's yet to come. It's just too much for the human mind to see all of these things in one trip and actually let it sink down what you're seeing. At some point your mind just switches it off, switches off and it's like oh yes another temple. Just because it cannot wrap itself around the fact how of how special this is. It doesn't stick this realization. To only come later and when I actually realized like wow what have I actually seen and to how many people have not been able to see this it's, it's only since the last couple of decades that we can travel to such places that's actually not true the last centuries people have always traveled but on a massive scale for just if you're not some true explorer it's the last couple of centuries perhaps decades that we can do these sorts of trips and now even the average worker can visit Egypt to save some money but forever this has been a place of dreams let's say that people couldn't just go visit there was no way just look at the obelisk Magnificent. There is even more, it just doesn't stop. An unbelievable place. And this is, there are some other tourists, but they just stick to the main halls. It looks like they don't go there. This is an actual huge city. This might stretch for like a kilometer. There's nobody here. This is a sacred lake. Just... I cannot believe the things I'm seeing. This was a metropolis of its times. This was the most majestic thing of the whole world it must have been